There's rumors the Lions may try to trade for Mason Rudolph. Unless they're giving him fish, I say don't do the deal. Mason Rudolph in a four or five game stretch would be lucky to win you one football game. I like to think Jared Goff can provide similar value to what Alex Smith provided the Chiefs. And then if he doesn't play and he does get hurt, well, you're going to suck. And what happens, Terry, when you suck? You're you get a picking. higher draft pick. The Lions have gone this far without a backup quarterback. May as well keep rolling. Lions second day of camp. More positive signs coming out from the defense. But the question everybody's asking is, should the Lions make a trade and upgrade the backup quarterback position? I, I think it's a bit ridiculous at this point. Uh, I think it doesn't fit with their plan. But, Terry, convince me otherwise. I can't. But I can only tell you there's rumors, uh, and you know how rumors are. They they don't matter. But there's rumors that the Lions may put together a deal to obtain to – obtain, um, I keep forgetting the guy's name. Who's it? It's not Bubby Brister because he doesn't play anymore. Uh, well, Mason Rudolph. Uh, there's rumors the Lions may try to trade for Mason Rudolph. Um, unless they're giving him fish, I say don't do the deal. Well, they, would, they wouldn't have you playing football. They would just have you be the towel boy. So I'm going to say no. You know, the Lions have gone this far without a backup quarterback. May as well keep rolling. Let Jared Goff go. And if, and if Jared Goff is injured, you know, what's the matter? I, I don't see the issue. Uh, again, two things are going to play out this season. Jared Goff is going to be your quarterback for the full season, and you're going to figure out a lot of things. You're going to figure out, well, is he a bridge quarterback for the future? Is he more than that? Is he less than that? Do you have a head coach? Uh, how how far along is your football team? And then if he doesn't play and he does get hurt, well, you're going to suck. And what happens, Terry, when you suck? You're you get a picking. higher draft pick. And when you get a higher draft pick, you are in a much more capable position of drafting a quarterback. That which is true. I believe most of this fan base, along with everybody Making decisions knows eventually they're going to have to draft the quarterback. Absolutely, root and tune. Now, here's my big critical question today. Let's say by chance the Lions are in playoff contention at the beginning of December. Okay. If you put Mason Rudolph in at quarterback, is he good enough to keep them rolling? If, he, if Jared Goff goes down in December, they're in the playoff hunt for, let's say, the wild card. Mm -hmm. Jared, uh, excuse me, not Jared. Mason Rudolph in a four or five game stretch would be lucky to win you one football game. Then you don't do the deal. Thank you. Unless it's for fish and you're just trying to get rid of them. Yeah, it's different. If, if the deal <laughs> includes fish, we, we trade for Mason do it. Rudolph. 100%, okay. 100%. But otherwise, you don't do it. So they're, look, they went dec a decade without a backup quarterback for Matthew Stafford. Who was, this, who was the backup quarterback for the Rams last year? Who was the backup? For the Bengals. Who was the backup for the Chargers? Who was the backup for the Niners? No idea. Who was, come on, guys. What I'm sure doing? they're quality the individuals. I, come on. Look, the city is smarter than this. Don't disappoint me, Detroit. Well, Detroit you're not, you're isn't not saying this. The, the bloggers out there who cover the NFL are saying this. So. This is stupid. And it the is. fans know better. And Detroit Lions fans know one thing will be true at the end of the year. They will know where their franchise is heading at the end of it. Easier schedule. One of the easier schedules. Actually, top three, I believe. It's the third easiest schedule in all of the NFL. Well, actually, this, we're, we're going to get a uh, preview before that from you. We'll ask you where the lines are headed in November. Absolutely. Everybody else and will I, figure and I will it out to the end of December. <laughs> I'll give you the exact answer. <laughs> you know, one of the other things that I think is really important to think about when we're talking about a backup quarterback, especially in this town, Jared Goff doesn't need a backup to motivate him. The dude is playing for his career. He's playing mm -hmm. for a future contract. There's no guarantee Goff gets a contract after his time with the Lions. And again, I, I like to think, this is the optimism in me, I like to think Jared Goff can provide similar value to what Alex Smith provided the Chiefs. He's not a franchise quarterback. He's not a league MVP. He's not a game winner. But you know what he is? He's, just, he's just good. He's just good. He's awful at times. He's average at times. And he's really good at times. And somewhere in between all that, you get good. I don't so, want to use the word good. I'll use the word solid. Yeah, good which is sort of good. Same, same thing at this point. Uh, for me, the biggest issue this team has is 
when? When are you pulling the trigger on the quarterback? And you know what? Like you said, let's say they are in playoff contention. Let's say they're an eight and uh, eight and nine, nine and eight football team this year. Well, they're not going to be anywhere near the top five, top seven, right? Mm-hmm. Well, right. okay. But excuse me, unless I check, you have a a general manager that has shown he can trade up twenty spots in the draft, essentially for a third round pick. I, yes, I believe if the quarterback is in this draft class, and just like I believed it last year. Brad Holmes and company will make the decision when the time's right. Yeah, and they, they have two first-round picks to this play year. with. They do. And uh, you can finagle that into something. The 49ers traded multiple first-round picks to move up for trade lines. The Lions, when they're ready, can make that deal. The Chiefs did it with Mahomes. Yeah. Y- you don't have to be picking top three. Would you like a Bryce Young, a CJ Stroud? Do you like it now? That sounds good to you now. You don't know how they're going to play this season. You don't know how at the end of January – what the conversation is going to look like. Nobody knew who Malik Willis was until a few Detroit Lion fanboys started to go to their bedroom, lock the door, and you, you don't even right. know. Because when, the season, know what when the season ended, no one talked about Malik Willis. But then, like, uh, it was like two months later, the, the Detroit fanboys, oh, we got to get Malik Willis. Mm-hmm. Why? The hell you fine. saw him play, and you said nothing, and then, like, two months later, you well, saw something. excuse me, excuse me. They saw him throw in underwear. Okay. And that turned on half the city. So. Oh, you know what else that. they saw? He had, uh, when he was at the combine, he had some T-shirts, and he gave, he gave them to a homeless guy. Was it T-shirts or food? I don't remember. It's T-shirts. He didn't give him food. Well, he's a nice guy. He was in front, uh, in fact, he was in front of St. Elmo's Steakhouse. So if we ever go to Indianapolis, we have to go to St. Elmo's Steakhouse, and you have to have the shrimp cocktail. Well, not only will I have a shrimp cocktail... I'm going to have some T-shirts on me. I'm going to give them away. Okay. Maybe people will start drafting me number two overall. So <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You're going to need more than a few T-shirts. <laughs> I'll bring some food, too. Oh. But, Tara, we agree there's no reason to upgrade. There's no reason to trade. If Jared Goff plays the whole season, cool. If he doesn't, cool. At the end of the day, you say 2023. I... I like to believe they pull the trigger on a quarterback this year in the upcoming draft. I believe four or five, maybe even six quarterbacks will go in the first round this year. But that is 2023. Yes. Because so this, this is, year is next year, technically. Technically. Right. Well, the 2023 draft, yes. Right. So that decision needs to be made. I, I don't see them waiting till 24. The only way I see them waiting till 24 is if Goff goes out and he's very reminiscent of 2018, where Brad Holmes and company say, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Not saying that he's a franchise guy, but we got him under contract for two more years. I'm not totally sold on all these quarterbacks. I don't mind keeping him, and I'll just I'll upgrade the team right now. Hell, I'll trade that pick for a veteran piece. We'll take a, a page out of the Rams playbook. Right. Uh, there's a lot that could change depending on player performance. I think it's what, very what if difficult. Jared Goff needs Tommy John surgery. Oh, I, obviously you draft the quarterback. Right. No, no, <laughs> no. So the Lions are in a good position for me. I think they're going to be one of the teams that are just going to be a pain in the ass to play against. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have to deal with that front seven. You don't want to have to deal with that offensive line. But but the key thing, the key thing to all of this is if Jared Goff plays well, you are confident moving forward with your franchise. Yes or no? You are. And even if he plays well, that doesn't eliminate the fact that you can still go out and draft a quarterback. It makes your decision harder, but I still think the decision is – to get the quarterback. And I'm not just convinced it's going to be a draft pick. It could be a veteran. I don't I don't see that, personally. I think you got too much money invested into golf. If you're going to bring in anybody, it's going to be the rookie that you maybe sit for a year. If not, you, you cut loose with Jared Goff. He's not going to cost you much to get rid of him anyway, so let the guy go out and play. He wins you six, seven, eight games this year. You can still sit him next year and mm-hmm. let Goff play again. Uh, the Lions are in a good position. And eventually, when Goff's contract is off the books, we're going to see a lot of maneuvering for veterans. Right. The problem is if you keep Goff beyond one year, uh, the Lions are going to have to answer the question just about every day. You know, you got two quarterbacks. When are you going to get rid of Jared Goff? But that's a good problem to have. It is. Again, Kansas City Chiefs fans, when they traded up for Patrick Mahomes, John Dorsey, Stood up at the podium, defended the pick. Everybody was freaking out. The kid's reckless. 
Texas Tech, oh my goodness, he just throws the ball a lot. Oh my, you can never work in the NFL, Terry. Could never work. They saw something. Mm -hmm. They sat him for a whole season. And what happens? Year one, 50 touchdowns. I'm not saying that's ever going to happen. There's a reason why that's only happened one time in NFL history. But Yeah, and then the we have Jordan is, Love. And then you have the Jordan Love's cases. But you know what? You may have a Trey Lance situation this year where they sat him last season, and he comes in and he plays well. So the NFL, more than ever, is not only quarterback friendly, offense friendly. You figure out who your quarterback is pretty early. Justin Herbert didn't take you long, did it? Patrick Mahomes did it. Joe Burrow. Lamar Jackson didn't even take you long to figure out he was going to work. You tell me, guys. You tell me. Dan Olavsky. Uh, Baker knew, Mayfield. We, we knew pretty soon he wasn't it. Baker Mayfield. Um, look, Mac Jones had a good first year, but I don't think anybody's calling him a franchise quarterback, but we'll see how he does. But he's not in that category. But Baker Mayfield, your Sam Darnolds. You have now your Zach Wilson. When are these guys going to develop, and when are they going to be on the field? When are they going to be available to play? Mac Jones might be a guy that fits a system and kind of works out. But if you send him somewhere else, then he'd probably flop. That's I don't the possibility. Know. I don't know how the hell he's supposed to have a successful season with Matt Patricia as his offensive coordinator. Well, technically, he's not his offensive coordinator. They haven't made a uh, decision on that. But if he is, then it— the Terry, poor guy should Terry, retire. Terry, you go, you go to the uh, collision shop. Why? Because your car is banged up. All right. And who can fix your banged up car? The little collision guy. All right. <laughs> would you go to your dentist if you have a car problem? I would not. It's not working in New England. It's going to be awful. <laughs>